Hey there, welcome to Stuff Innovators 2015. We are here to see how technology is changing and how that technology is going to change our lives, not just over the next year, but way beyond. What excites you at the moment and what do you think we're going to see the most innovation, the real breakthroughs over the next few years? Uh, robotics I'm really excited about and different people think every time you men mention robotics you see some kind of humanoid kind of thing walking about. That's fine but you know ADAS in the car, assisted driving, I certainly believe that the technology is at a stage that we can do a lot of autonomous stuff that improves people's lives and for me the areas that matter is where we have societal issues like healthcare, energy, uh, agriculture where you use a lot of the technologies that mobile industry has helped to create you know tiny little things which can do amazing things then you can deploy them as sensors and, and monitors and, and improve those and last but not least I would say VR and AR i.e. virtual reality and augmented reality where I think you know the, the power of graphics, you know, essentially deliver true virtual presence, you know, and I think that will be dramatic for education, for tourism, for games, for the whole lot. So th those would be my exciting areas. And where possible, we believe that wearable technology should be integrated into something you already wear. To do that means you need tiny devices, tiny components that can integrate seamlessly into what you put on your body. And that's, uh, that's where Intel comes in. Intel's great at producing tiny, tiny components and software that connects those components to other pieces of uh, technology and creates experiences that people want. There's loads of momentum behind innovation around the wrist. Uh, clearly some major announcements from major players in the market. I think we'll see that moving on in the next year or so. And an area that we're particularly excited about in Intel is, is head-worn devices. And we're investing a lot in augmented reality. So I think eye-worn and head-worn devices will be really exciting over the next year as well. Yeah, so, so currently what we're working on is uh, requires a PC and, and a tether, a cable that runs to it. So you won't see people out walking around with an HTC Vive on, um, but you will see potentially the most immersive experiences ever um, you know in virtual reality things that are so realistic that you actually feel like you're there and you immediately let go of the fact that you're you know at home in your room or in an office or you know somewhere doing this experience and so so really really compelling and exciting experiences are going to come to market and really kind of change the way people interact with technology yeah it was kind of strange really because obviously watching everybody before it was very high tech you're talking about robotics you know automated cars and I'm thinking well I'm kind of Mr. Lo-Fi but it's all the same stuff, isn't it? You know, whether you innovate sticking two pencils together or putting two satellites together, it's, it's an idea to make something better. 